How many times have you wanted to add animations to your Canva designs, but they didn't exactly match your brand colors? Well, guess what? Now you can. There is a brand new app integration called Lotties that will allow you to choose from over 100,000 different types of animated files, and you can completely customize them to match your brand colors. Wait until you see how fun this is. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. What makes Lottie so special is that they aren't created like traditional graphics with a graphics program. They are made entirely of code. And because of this, their file size is very, very small. To put it in perspective, a PNG would be about the size of a dinosaur. A GIF would be about the size of an elephant. But a Lottie is only the size of a house cat. That's how small these files are. Not only are their file sizes small, but you can also scale them up or down without losing any quality. You can change their colors to match your brand colors. And what's really great is that in Canva, you can use as many as you want. There are no limits and it works both in the free and paid versions of Canva. And you can use them for personal as well as commercial use. So how do we find them? Let's go grab some Lotties. I'm going to scroll down on my page. You're going to go over to the Canva sidebar and scroll down until you see apps and click on that. And right here, you will see where it says Lottie files. If you don't see this icon, you can simply type Lottie in the search bar and this will show up for you. You're going to click on this box right here and it tells you that Lottie files give you access to the world's most extensive library of over 100,000 Lottie animations. That's a lot of animations. And then you'll just simply click open and you are brought to a brand new screen where you see some animated Lotties. You have the option to search for whatever you'd like. So you can simply enter your criteria. You can choose whether you want to search for featured items. There's also an option for popular items and you can search for whatever recent items. These are items that have been added to the Lottie library. Once you find something that you're looking for, you will simply, I'll do a shopping one, You'll simply enter your criteria and then it will go ahead and search for any of the Lottie files that match that criteria. Here we go. We have these shopping options right here. Let's just choose this one here. Now you have, you see the animation and you see this color option. If you click on this color palette, you have the choice to change into any of these other color palettes. So you can just click through these and cycle through them to get them into something that would be similar to what you have for your brand colors. Once you have one that you like, you can simply say add to design. Now, if you're clicking through these color options and you don't like them, you can also click reset and you can add your own brand new color palette simply like by clicking where it says new palette and add your hex color codes right here. And then it will take on those colors as well. I'm just going to use this one as it is for right now, and I'm going to click Add to Design. It's going to go ahead and work its magic. There we go. Lottie files have successfully been uploaded to your media library. Now that we have this in our design, look what we have right here. We have the option to change our colors right here. You can see I've got the white, the light, tur the light turquoise, <laughs> the light lavender, and that darker lavender right there. And I can change those. I can simply click on the color box and change to anything that I want. Maybe I don't want these purple tones. Maybe I want teal. So I'm going to change that right now. Click on that, and we will click on that. And you have just changed that animated file to completely match your brand colors. Let's go back and do another one. Let's, let's look at, let's do, let's do this little bell right here. So here we have this social media icon bell. Again, I can click on these color palettes and choose anything that's right here until I find one that I like. That one's pretty close to my brand color. So I could actually just leave it and use that one. Or I could add my own color palette simply by adding my hex color codes right inside of here. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I know I have one of those hex colors. There's one right there. And then I can also adjust to add additional colors or even shades. You can see I can change transparency of my color choices as well. Let's just add that one. 
So I have those two color options right there. You can add up to five colors with your Lottie files, and then you would once again just click Add to Design. Now, not only can you use this option, but Lottie's has a fully integrated website that you can also sign up for free and get access and even change more of those Lottie files. Let me show you. I'm going to go over here to where it says LottieFiles.com and sign up for a free account. There is a paid version, but you're probably not going to need that in the very beginning. Once you've signed up for your account, you're going to be brought to what's called your dashboard and you're given sort of like a little workspace. So you can see right here, I have my first workspace and I just have a couple of the Lottie files that I was searching for. So if you want to search for things, you can scroll down. You see down here, there's an option for free animations. Yes, there are paid versions as well. And you're certainly welcome to pay for those files, but I like things that are free. So we're going to work with free files. I'm going to click on view more and then I'm going to do a search. So I would like to search for a cat. And then once I have my search option, you will see that it gives me a couple choices. You've got pro versions, which are going to be paid. And then if you have, if you don't see that pro right there, that means it's a free uh, Lottie that you can use. So you can also go over here where it says price. You can click on this option and just narrow it down right here just to say free only so that you get all those pro ones out of your way. And that way it won't confuse you too much. Once you find one that you like, you simply click on it and it's going to show you a preview of that animation. And then you'll go right here where it says save to workspace. So we're going to click that. And it's going to bring you to what's called your workspace. Now I am within the Lottie's website right now. I'm not in Canva at the moment, but I'm going to show you what this does. So here I have my cat. Let me just stop the animation temporarily. You can play and pause that animation. Here I have my cat and it's fine the way it is, but if you'd like to change the colors of the animation, you're going to go over here to this sidebar where it says color palette right there. You're going to click on that little option for color palette right there. And here you have, just like you had in Canva, all these different color choices that you can use for that Lottie. You can cycle through them and you'll see as I do that, it's changing the colors on this cat, going through one at a time until you find the color combination that you like. If you don't like it, you can click reset and it puts it back to the way it was before. Once again, you can go up here to new palette and create your own set of color palettes. You've got some suggestions right here, or you can move the slider until you find color choices that you like. So let's say we'll do that one. You can see it updated the cat's shadow right there. If you want to update or add only certain portions, for instance, right now it's applying those colors sort of unilaterally to the design. But if there's certain portions I really wanna hone in on and change those specific colors, you can do that as well. So I have my cat right here. You're going to go up here to the very top where it says open in editor because Lottie's has its very own editor. And now I can really customize what color this looks like. You can see as I hover, it's giving me the different parts. Each part is separate. So I have the tail, I have the face and the ears and the nose and the paws. All of these things are completely separate. Over here to my right, it's showing me what my color choices are. So if I would like to go on my ear right here, there's one ear. Here's my other ear. Here's my body. I can go through each piece and change those colors if I want to. You can see as I do that, it's showing me the color choices for those pieces. So right now I'm on the body. If I click on this midsection, you can see it changes to that. So let's click on this and let's make this sort of like a lighter blue. So there we go. So that part is, see, it's light blue. And then if I want to, I can go down here to the tail and I can change that. So let's go and make this, we're just gonna make this a blue cat, why not? And I'm gonna copy this color code just so that I have it. So there's my tail. And then I'm gonna change the body and I'm gonna make it the same color as the tail and see how I'm doing that? Each section is getting changed for those colors. So for here, let's, gonna, let's do a little darker blue like that. 
And let's find out what color this was because I'm going to use that for the other paw. I'm just going to copy that hex color code right there. And I'm going to copy this paw color and change this one. I'm just copying and pasting those hex color codes so that they match. And then let's do it for the ears as well. We'll just make everybody all one color like that. And let's grab that one like that. So that is how you can completely customize those Lotties. Once you're finished, you're going to go over here to where it says save. And it's going to save that design. Now you have two choices on this screen. One says save as new animation. One says save changes. You want to choose save as new animation because if I were to click save changes, that's going to prompt me to pay for a pro account because it wants to change the original file. You don't want to do that. You basically just want to save this as your own new animation. So just choose save as new animation. You can put it in a folder if you want to. I'm not going to bother because I already have a folder that's listed and click save. It will then save it to your Lottie folder. So I'm going to go back to my main home screen. And here's that cat right there. How fun is that, right? So now we can bring this into Canva. Now that I've created this cat and I've changed the color completely, I can bring it into Canva. Let me show you how to do that. We are back in Canva now. So to bring the Lottie file over that we just created, here we go. These are the Lottie files right here. Instead of going to the Discover tab, which has those preset files, you're going to go over here to where it says Workspaces. The very first time you click on Workspaces, it's going to prompt you to connect to your account. That's Canva asking permission to connect to this Lottie Files platform account that you've created, this free account. So you'll see a red Connect button that's going to be right here. You'll be prompted to enter your username and password and then you will see this screen. You'll notice that this is the exact same screen that I have on my Lotties account. It says my workspace, I have my projects and my collection. If I go back over here, here's my workspace, my project, my collection. It's exactly the same thing. Now that I have this connected, I can click on the folder where I had saved those Lottie files. And here are those same files, the exact same four files that are here are also right here. So this is how you can bring your customized Lottie files into Canva. If it turns out that the preset colors that are here within Canva are just not what you need, you really need to get specific with it, that's when I recommend that you go over to the Lotties platform, get it exactly the colors that you want, and then you can bring it right into Canva. So you'll simply click on that animation, this is the one that I just created, and click Add to Design, and Canva will pop it right into your design for you, just like that. So there are two basic ways to edit those Lottie files, like I mentioned. First way is just to use the preset color palettes that are here within Lotties. When you click on Discover and you click on that file, you can edit your color palettes this way. Or you can go over to the Lotties platform and get super specific. If you really need to hone in on those colors, you can do that and then bring those files into your Canva designs. I cannot wait to see how you use these Lottie files because they are a whole Lottie fun. Yes, I just made that really bad joke. If this was helpful, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.